Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J. Today is Wednesday, May 13th. Before we get into grammar for today, make sure that you've completed the entire practice page. If you haven't done that, pause the video now. Once you've completed it, come back to the video. If you have completed all the practice problems and you have a pencil in front of you, then you're ready to get started. Based on yesterday's lesson, we reviewed how to format short and long works. We reviewed that titles of long-term works are set off by italics in printed material, and when you write by hand, we underline those titles. Short form works. We reviewed that are set off by quotation marks. Now let's do a little bit of review. Can you name examples of our long work forms? That's right. Books, magazines, movies, and newspapers are a couple examples. What are a few examples of short form works? You got it. Short stories, book chapters, songs, and most poems. Those are just a few examples. So let's keep all those things in mind as we're going over the practice work. The directions tell us to write each sentence correctly by capitalizing each title, then underlining or adding quotation marks to the title. Number one, Seed Folks is anything but a boring book. The first thing I'm going to think to myself is, is this a a long work form or a short work form? You know that a book is a long work form. So that means that the title Seed Folks should be italicized if printed and underlined if written by hand. So you'll notice that my title, Seed Folks, is in italics and should be underlined on your scratch paper. Number two, I enjoyed reading Curtis in the book of poems. Is this title going to be a long form or short work form? A long work form or a short work form? This is going to be a short work form. Why? Because it is in a book of poems. Which means that it is a poem within a book. Okay. 
because Curtis is a poem title, it is going to be in quotation marks. Today's secret code for grammar is magenta. M-A-G-E-N-T-A. -E Again, today's secret code is magenta. M-A-G-E-N-T-A. -E Number three, The Little Light in the Back of My Mind is the title of a poem that she wrote. Once again, we have another poem. So we have another title of a poem. So the little light in the back of my mind should be in quotation marks. Also notice that all the important words in the title are capitalized. And the words that aren't so important are not capitalized. Number four. Bella sang Beautiful Flower at the talent show. What is the title of the song that Bella sang? That's right, Beautiful Flower. So we know that the title of a song is a short work form. So we know that beautiful flower is going to be in quotation marks and it should be capitalized. Number five, you'll find the book George vs. George in the nonfiction section of the library. George vs. George is the title of the book. Is that a long work or a short work form? That's right, it's a long work. So George vs. George should be italicized. Number six. Did you read the headlines in today's issue of the Newport Journal and Sun? Newport Journal and Sun can be the title of a what? That's right, a newspaper. Newport Journal and Sun should be capitalized, only the important words, and it should be italicized. And remember that if you're writing it by hand, it should be underlined. Number seven, The Boston Massacre is the title of chapter nine. So The Boston, Mass the Boston Massacre is the title of a chapter in a book. So we know that that is a short work form. Number eight, Aladdin and the Magic Lamp is my sister's favorite book. So Aladdin and the Magic Lamp is a book title. So the book title should be italicized if printed and underlined if handwritten. Thanks everyone, that's all we have for grammar for today. So head over to your grammar exit ticket to complete our grammar lesson for today. Have a great day everyone.